Hey yo, what a people, this is your boy Jay Sanjay Cakes and today we are back with another video and on today's video guys we're gonna review a pair of Jordan 1 Lows in a classic colorway and this is the Jordan 1 Low alternative bread look at this babies here, look at this banger here, yeah boy we're gonna review this fire fire shoe on today's video but before we go into this please let me ask you to go and hit the thumbs up if you're liking the content also go and subscribe to the channel if you haven't already activate the notification bell so you can be notified whenever i upload a video which is every single day guys also go follow me on my instagram and on tiktok as jason j cakes and now let's begin this video This is the Jordan One Low Alternative Bread, and I gotta say that this is a colorway that I really, really like. It's a really clear um, reference to the Jordan One Low Bread, but this one has the Nike swoosh in white, as we can see right here pretty clearly. And that's why, because of the white Nike swoosh, is that this shoe is called the Alternative Jordan One Low Bread. We can easily customize this shoe with a little bit of red paint here on the on the Nike swoosh and we're gonna have a full Jordan 1 bread as we can see with my pair of Jordan 1 high bread pretty pretty dope shoe that's why I'm telling you stop sleeping in Jordan 1 lows I know everyone loves Jordan 1 highs Jordan 1 high is actually my favorite Jordan 1 but the lows I just have a really really deep love for the Jordan 1 lows that I can sleep on pairs like these clear references to OG colorways like the bread Jordan 1. Look how dope these two shoes looks together. It's really dope for real. It's a really dope feeling having these two shoes in the collection. Cause yes, these babies right here are gonna stay in my collection. So let me go with a review of the issue. I already show you how they look side by side with the OG Jordan 1 bread. Now it's time to give the spotlight to these babies here. This Jordan 1 Lowe's comes in the standard Jordan 1 Low box, the black box with the gold jumpman in the center. I personally don't like this box that much, but to his own and it's only the box we ain't gonna wear the box anyway you feel me but the shoe the shoe is a different history the shoe looks pretty amazing if you ask me in my humble opinion this is an amazing pair of shoes just because of the colorway that this one has yeah we have the white nike swoosh but who cares if you care that much about the white nike swoosh just get a little bit of red paint like i said previously and you're gonna have a full pair of bread we have the red on the toe on the ankle area as well and on the heel and we have the the Winx logo on the back station right there, the Jumpman in red in the black tongue, as we can see, this pair of shoes comes only and only with this black pair of laces, but you can do some nice lace swap if you want the shoe to pop a little bit more. You can use some red laces or white laces to match perfectly with the swoosh and with the midsole that is also in white, as we can see, the outsole is in red and the sug liner is in black with that red jumpman right there on the on the insole pretty amazing shoe that if you ask me and you're looking for a great great pair of shoes to add into your collection or just to rock this summer this is it this is the one a OG OG colorway almost a OG colorway but you know you know you know what I'm talking about man this for real I think they just look amazing it's probably because i mean huge huge and when i say huge i really mean a huge fan of jordan wine lows jordan wine is my favorite silhouette i love the lows the highs the mid i always said it but it's because it's so true i don't give a damn about all the people opinion about um the jordan wine lows i know these bigger youtubers be like jordan wine lows are trash or these or that i don't care I care about my own opinion about my own shoes. If I buy a pair of shoes, it's because I like it, not because of other people like them or don't like them. I just don't care, you know? I have my own brain in fully functionality, so I don't need 
all the ones opinion about the issue. I know sometimes it's nice to know the details, um, the quality. That's why I do this video for people who want to know about the quality. But then let my opinion influence in your opinion about the shoe. If you don't like it, it's okay. It's okay. If I like the shoe, for real, I love it. And if you don't like it, it's not gonna make this shoe a great shoe for you just because I like it. If you like it, that's what makes the shoe great for you. Everyone is always gonna have a different opinion on a pair of shoes. You probably like them, you're probably not. But if you don't like it, just move on. Go to the next one and let people who want the shoe go for them, all right? It's okay to don't like a shoe, but for those who love them, you're gonna have a great, great pair of shoes that, for real, for real, I'm not just randomly talking about the shoes just because I like them. That's where I got these shoes. I went into um, Snipes today. I was just looking around to see what they have. And I saw this one right there and I was like, oh, oh, these are so nice. And I just grabbed them, you know? I'm lucky that I'm able to have them. And I just I, I just couldn't resist the, 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 the feeling of having these shoes, you know? Because like I said, it's a really dope feeling when you have the high version and the low version of a classic colorway like this one S. I love it, I love it. Something that I didn't like about this shoe is the only problem that I have with Jordan 1 Lowe's, but at this point, I don't even care anymore. And it's the quality of the leather that I use for this one. The quality is for real. If you compare the quality on these pair with the quality on a pair of Jordan 1 High, you're gonna notice a big, big difference in terms of the quality of the leather. This is pretty mediocre quality, but the price on the shoe is $110, so, you're not paying as much as you pay for a pair of Jordan 1 highs that, um, for those who don't know, the retail price on Jordan 1s is 180 plus taxes, so New York, that's almost $200. And for this one, you're only paying 110, so it's a big difference in price from the low to the high. And the colorway is just nice. That's the main focus point that I see when I try to get a pair of Jordan 1 lows, specifically on this version of the Jordan 1 low, because this is not the OG version of the Jordan 1 low. It's actually, let me show you the OG version. I have them here in a different, but really nice colorway as well. The Bleach Coral Jordan 1 low. This is the OG silhouette and you can see the differences between them. If you want, I can make a, a full video comparison between the OG silhouette of the Jordan 1 low and this version of the Jordan 1 lows that is the one that we see the most uh, releasing with different colorways. So, will be a really dope video. Just leave a like if you want me to make that video for you. But, uh, by the way, will be really dope to see back the, the bread OG Jordan 1 low. Will be really, really dope. But yeah, like I was saying, just with this, I'm pretty happy with them. They look pretty fire and fit. They look good and handy. It's just a really, really fire pair of shoes, but that's just my opinion. And now is the time when you all let me know your opinion about the alternative bread Jordan 1 low in the comment section, of course. I'm gonna be reading and answering all the messages that you left me right there as I'm always trying to do, guys. So let's have that nice conversation and we can argue if the issue is dope or not. We can totally do it. Just Let's do it respectfully. I respect your opinion and I hope that y'all respect mine. It is what it is, guys. Thank you a lot for watching. Remember, like I just said, share your opinion with me in the comment section. Leave a like, because that's only gonna take two seconds of your time and it's totally free. So go and leave a like and you're gonna help me a lot with the YouTube algorithm. If you enjoy this type of content, make sure to subscribe to the channel so you don't miss any of the upcoming videos that I'm going to upload to the channel because I'm uploading content ish and every single day, guys. Also go follow me on Instagram. You have it here, it's Jason JK. Cause if you wanna know about sneaker news or you just enjoy sneaker pictures, go follow me here on my Instagram. It's Jason JK. Same on TikTok. And thank you a lot for watching the video, guys. And until the next one, don't sleep on these. If you see them in stores, don't sleep on these. <laughs> Goodbye.